Right, here's my um, DIY cheap version of a chain oiler. Um, so far it's cost me nothing, but uh, even if you do buy the bits it's probably about a quid I would think. Right, I don't know whether you can really see it very well, but that's a roll plug. Uh, the reason I picked a wall plug is because it's got a little hole in it. And what I've done then is used a hot nail and put two holes in it for a couple of cable ties. And all the cable ties do is just stick through the hole and run on the sprocket. Now what I used under here is a bit of copper brake pipe that I had spare, um, put a bit of plastic pipe over the top of it so it wouldn't protect it against the chassis, uh, you know, against the swing arm and uh, bent it to shape and held the whole thing on with cable top. So it comes through at the top. Now you see that the plastic is really just a sort of insulated against the swing arm stop it getting rubbing it. So the pipe comes up and it's just bent up and then the pipe comes round here, it's just a bit of washer pipe, another bit of a join here and what I've done is I've crimped the ca uh, another piece of copper pipe and I've just crimped it really quite tight so it really restricts the flow and then what comes back up and then it's joined by another bit of copper pipe with a bit of plastic pipe on one side and um, not suggesting that my wife ever does do a hair but it's one of those casting cream gloss bottles because they're flexible um, that's pretty much it really Start off with a bowl, you get a bit of pipe, put a restrictor in. I think that I might go to a, to a tap here because you could always turn it off then. Um, when I'm not using the bike, what I'll do is just take the bottle off so that there's no oil coming through, otherwise, I'm going to get it all over my yard. Anyway, so oil comes down there, goes through the restrictor, down through the hole, through down the pipe. Apologies for my camera skills and what they could be. And then what you can see it there, the cable ties run on the sprocket. And because I'm using copper pipe, it's rigid enough to hold it in place. A bit of black pipe there is just a piece of radiator hose cut to go over the top to make the whole thing a bit more rigid. And that's it. Um, I'll show you what I did with the roll plug. So you get a roll plug, yeah. And I'm just going to put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So you get a roll plug. You bend it out. Now that will hold itself in place for quite a while. You know, it, it didn't try and flex back. And then I put a little hole in there and a little hole in there at an angle and then just fed the uh, cable ties through. Now you see, if you look right down there, I was very good at this, but it's got a little hole in it. So the oil just dribbles through that little hole and runs down the inside of the roll plug here and then onto the cable tie. So as long as you've got that, well, as steep an angle as you can, like vertical, it will drain down onto the sprocket. Anyway, that's my idea. I'm sure you have different ideas around it, but it didn't cost me anything, so I thought I'd share it.